let's see here. Sorry, having some technological issues. The Dallas Restream Ingest again this weekend is having problems and was dropping all my frames. So I had to end and then re set up everything and then my stream deck didn't respond so even though obs started streaming none of my automation was working <sighs> so a little bit of a tizzy but hopefully things will go well now it looks like the bots are responding and it looks like we're live on youtube and twitch and facebook not doing trovo or uh kick kind of going to give up on them. I never get any traction on them anyway. No worries there. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and close that because it looks like the robots are working. Yes. Okay. Let's try pushing the buttons. Uh, let's see. Are the buttons going to work? Okay. The buttons are working. That's good. Yes. There we go. Okay, um, so as usual, I'm a member of the Geknip gang. They got me into live streaming back in 2017. Check out our Discord, it's right there. If you want to join my Discord, you can do that. Link is popping up there. And by now, you're probably tired of me saying it, but I am playing on a PC. That's never going to change. Uh, if you're on YouTube or Twitch, uh, we do have a loyalty system through Streamlabs. My points are called treats. Uh, and as the majority of my users are on YouTube, let's check out the treat leaderboard on YouTube. That is popping up there. And uh, let's see here. What is next? Oh, yes, the commands. Stream commands you can type in chat. And if you want to redeem any sound effects, you can get all that there at that link. Social media, if you do those things, you can follow me. And this wasn't working last week, but let's try a dad joke. Hopefully that API is working again. Uh, that's taking an awful long time. Okay, that link may be dead. Oof, that stinks. Okay, let's close that and launch the game. And I'll pretend my automation is doing this for me, but we'll switch over to the gameplay screen here in just a second. As soon as Steam does its thing. There we go. Uh, yep. Technology. There we go. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can't find another dad joke API. That one was working for the longest time and was excellent. So, alrighty. OBS looks happy. The bots are working. Chat seems to be working. We got Serious Lee's gaming with us. Welcome to it. And I think Ashinda was there earlier over on Twitch. Don't know if they made it for the uh, real stream. Hopefully they're over there. Welcome to it. Um, let's get into the Black Gek. Now, earlier I was doing the weekend mission with Mr. Bixler. And I finally claimed my Starborn Runner ship. And I was like, hey, this is a pretty cool looking ship. So I was wanting to go ahead and try to get it outfitted a little bit. So it needs lots of slots. I've got a bunch of S-Class modules we can throw at it. Gonna need some units as well. So I figured we could probably uh, make some stasis devices, which means mining uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, so, we're just going to kind of do a lot of different things today. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope your weekend is going well so far. It's currently just after 6 p.m. here where I am in the great state of Texas. And there we are. There's the Starborn Runner. It is a very nice looking ship. I see why it's so popular. 
Oh, and the other thing I wanted to maybe do is uh, get rid of some of my other ships. Uh, where is it? Oh, it doesn't appear. For some reason, I have another exotic that I might want to delete, and I want to find a good uh, Sentinel Interceptor. So I probably need to troll the um, troll all the forums and things for the best S-class Sentinel interceptor. There's Mikey. Welcome to it. Bus dro just dropped you off. Nice. So the uh, Starborn Runner looks like this, and we need at least three slots there. And I've got a bunch of S-Class modules, so we can try to kit it out a little bit. But it's also got all these blanks here that's going to cost a lot to fill in. Um, so I figured at least we'd maybe start with making some units. So we probably need to, I think, grab a hauler so we can have places to store all these plants and things. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this guy. Oh, and it's got all the gases, too. Good, we've got a lot of gas. Yes, Richard is gassy. Alrighty, let's get off to the various farms and things. So we can do that. And... Ever seen that runner before? Yeah, it's one of, it's one of the rewards from the Omega uh, expedition. And earlier I did send off a couple of uh, missions for my frigate fleet. Uh, let's see here. Oh, they're awaiting communication? Interesting. I wonder what that means. Awaiting communication. What does that mean? Awaiting debrief. Oh, they're already done? Okay. I guess they're already done. Um, wow, I, didn't, I thought it would take them a little bit longer. Okay, uh, let's go debrief the frigates then. Uh, how does the stream look and sound? Hopefully it's looking okay. I am doing 720p now. Uh, from experience, 1080p with just under 6,000 bitrate isn't very optimal for Twitch. So I took all the recommendations and said, let's try 720p. Okay, manage expedition. So those are still out. Looks good, sounds good, excellent, thank you. Okay, so that one must report an emergency. A geological research team was deployed to an interesting cave system on planet Eterna Minor. During their research, they disturbed a fumarole. The gas that spewed from the vent did not match any known substance. The crew immediately evacuated. On their return, the crew who inhaled the gas began reporting strange symptoms. Their eyes are bloodshot and their skin has begun to glow. I have quarantined those effective, but I am unsure what to do next. Oh, this must be the new thing where they call you if there's a problem. Interesting. Um, return them to the planet or treat with red targeted radiation. I have no idea. Um... Sounds like a problem. It is a problem. Um, I'm going to try to treat it with radiation. I tell the fleet commander to fight fire with fire, treat the infected, infected crew with radi targeted radiation beams, and burn out whatever mutation has stricken them. Okay. And is it just going to... Oh, now they're okay again. Yeah, see, that's what I figured. That one was going to be a while. Okay. Okay, interesting. This one is done. Radiate them more. <laughs> Alright, debrief. Alrighty. Pirate fleet, we got Indium. 
And we got sack venom and units and units and units and units and we're done. Okay, I think there was only two missions that were out. Yeah, none of these are active. Okay. Alrighty. Um, let's see here. Uh, India. Well, I guess we can sell the India. We don't really need it. Those can go over there. Uh, that really needs to go up there too. Uh, geodesites don't need those. Those can sell. Sack venom we can sell. I need to make some more frigate fuel too. There's our hauler we're going to use for the time being. Okay, let's see. Uh, that can go in the starship. That can go in the starship. That can... Those things can sell. Alrighty. Soup. Sack venom. Bye bye. Uh, oh yeah, salvage data. That's the other thing. We need to go get the uh, buy the new space station base parts from the anomaly. So we do need to get our uh, call up our exocraft and get that. Let's do that first real quick while I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's see, I've got one of those beamer communication thingies somewhere. Where's... Uh, where is it? Should be... Oh, yeah, there it is. Summon Exocraft Colossus. Ah! Right on top of me. That was rude. Okay, somewhere in here should be... Oh yes, a lot of salvage data. Okay, so let's take that and that and that and that. Because I think probably we'll use most of that. Uh, echo locator. I don't think I need any of those. really else to go into the exocraft, so that is fine there. I'm also kind of thinking I want to redo this base. How's my job and my sister? Uh, my job's going good. Uh, still at the University of Arlington. Still working in the library, taking care of their AWS instance. Uh, got a bunch of projects going on at the moment, so I'm Work is going well. Sister is doing well. She's still working nights at uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center. So, yeah, things are going well on those fronts.
How about you, Mikey? How you doing? It seems literally like forever or the core team of us No Man's Sky streamers have been in a little chitty chatty No Man's Sky stream. Black hole discovered. Oh, oh my. Soup. Suffering from old age. Uh, aren't we all? Yeah, I turned 60 this year, so yeah. Okay, uh, oh, actually we're gonna go mining, so we don't need to come down here. We should have gone to the temple. That's what we're gonna do. 69 this year? Wow, nice. Okay, uh, do, 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 what's do we need? You don't look 59-ish. <laughs> I try not to act my age. All right, that's what we need. We need lots of plants. Same age as your younger brother. Cool. Alrighty, here we are at Ocean Beaches. Karen's a fabulous star system. Alrighty. Harvest all plants. view of the uh, teleport there. Let's see here. I bet yep, vignette turned on. Ugh. I need to just have an option where you can always have that disabled. I just, I always disable it. There's Mr. Geki dude. Okay. Uh, all right, we did that. Then we come over here. Uh, do we get fungal mold and mordite? Mordite from above. And then we go over here. Frosty crystals. And then we go over here. I remember building this base. Man, that was a that was a heck of a build. I think I really need that much feces. And a gravitino ball from above. Woot. Plants look smaller. And then 
nip nip from above. Sack venom. Alright, and all this is going into... Okay, that stuff is going in there. Okay, good. Plants should be going into the ship, which I think they are, yes. Yes, good, okay. And then Gravitino Balls. from above and then this should be back to gamma yes so now we go upstairs Zoop. Zoop. and we got more selenium was like a, a base worker that would just do this for you and then just stick it in the cache and it would take like an hour or something and then you could just zip by and pick it up. That would be nice. Shard Vixen, welcome to it. Good to see you. with Ashinda's raid, but I was out in the garden when she raided. Oh, oops! Yeah, and I had, uh, she joined me over here, over there on Twitch, but I had a small technical glitch and had to restart. I don't know if she is rejoined or not, but welcome to it. Good to see you. the update i love the orbital update the new space stations are absolutely stunning they are beautiful i, I really really like it we'll go take a look at some of them here in a in a minute well more than a minute but i gotta do all this farming stuff first real quick There you go, Mikey. Make the best of it. Zoop. And more gamma. I 
miss these? Oh, I got one of them when I was down below. That's what happened. And then frost crystal. entered the system? Really? Someone else has entered the system? One ants in your pants for sure. Oof. there, please. Oh, Kingsnake. Whatever happened to that guy? He very much disappeared. Yeah, so many of them. <laughs> Even some of the people who would just chat and never were streamers, like Scott Delaney. I haven't heard heard from Scott in forever. Uh oh, buffering. Oops. Uh, looks okay here, Mikey. Uh. OPS shows green, no issues. Now let me know if that keeps happening. And this was, oh, wow, geez, okay. Yikes. Yeah, Mike, uh, Gaming Mike hardly ever streams, and Ivy Mike, pff, I don't know what's where Ivy Mike is. I knew he had a pretty heavy-duty uh, significant other girlfriend, and then had moved or something, but he's his Discord is just unfortunately like a ghost town. I pop in every every month or so and say. Checking in on Ivy Mike. And never hear anything. But uh, he, Gaming Mike, is usually pretty active in his Discord. Oh, uh, 
uh, I can see his name. Chavo. And then there was Old McReaper. Yeah, every once in a while I hear something from Sav Jazz. And every once in a while I'll see Chavo on, you know, start something on Steam. But that's all the old main crew. I hardly. Gaming Mike is, for me, is, is oddly enough the most active out of all of them. Yeah, definitely Atlanta. He was, he was there in Atlanta. Alrighty, uh, I think that's it for that one. B Man plays on Twitch. Ah, okay. Uh, well, we got a bunch of nip nip. Might as well raid the nip nip base, I guess. Is a job and a girlfriend. Oh, awesome. Well, good. I'm glad they're doing all right. Yeah, I hardly watch streams anymore because by the time I get home from work and then uh, walk the dog, I'm like, ugh, tired. <laughs> oh, John had a stroke. Ouch. Hey, Teavanti. Welcome to it. telling myself one of these days I am going to play something more than No Man's Sky. <laughs> I, I do try to promise myself that, but it, I just can't get it to come to fruition. I do have a whole bunch I would just like to try, and I need probably just need to force myself to do it. <laughs> Yep, City Skylines. It, although it's it, I I like it, but it, it it performs poorly on my system, and I'm trying to learn the kind of the mechanics of how the new version really works best, so I can when I stream it, I can at least have a semi-functional city rather than oh my god, there's nothing that I learned in City Skylines 1 works here. <laughs> so I've been playing a little bit of it offline here and there, just trying to learn the different mechanics and things and the best way to work things. But Starfield just didn't grab me like I thought it would.
back into it. Yeah, for a while I was doing the weekend missions with Mary and Scott and Mythic, but Mythic kind of disappeared and Mary's health worsened. And then for the longest time it was me and Scott, and then me and Scott hadn't really played a whole lot recently. But we did today. We had a good weekend mission and some playtime, so that was that was real nice. Alright, that's all of them. Alright. Okay, what is our next farm? Um, do I need any copper or oxygen? I don't think so. Copper or oxygen? I better gas up, so to speak. So let's hit our gas farm. Yeah, and I like doing the uh, the daily mission, so I, as you probably know there on YouTube, I record those and send those out. Oh, Moon Machine, yeah. Yeah, I remember Moon. Wow, that's a blast from the past. <laughs> Uh, her health isn't too good. She, I think, is trying to get having some shoulder surgery done, but there's some other things complicating it. And she's in, from what I understand, quite a bit of pain and can't really, you know, stream and play games and, and do a whole lot of movement. Yeah, yeah, I have noticed she's said that a few times. Alrighty. Zoop. Zoop. And zoop. Really? My exosuit is full? Wow. Yep, that would be full. <laughs> That is a lot of nip nip and wow. Holy, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I mainly try to check, uh, usually the G&G &G Discord, since I'm still a moderator there, just in case there's any spammers or anything goofy there, so I always try to check that one. And then gaming mics, uh, and then there's a few others that I'll check, but it's smaller. <laughs> Alright, Sulfurine, and then Lake Farm, and then I think that's all we need. So let's do that. Of course, you can usually find me over on the Streamlabs or Restream or OBS Studio discords. And then, yeah, and then Pimpin is kind of, that, his discord, he's been kind of busy with IRL stuff as well. So I haven't seen much of Pimpin a whole lot. Uh, phosphorus. Do I need any 
phosphorus, not really. Do need sulfurine. Alrighty, one more farm. Then we should be able to make some stasis devices and at least have some money to which we can add some slots and then see what we can outfit. Oh, crones. Ugh, that's a... Ugh. That's a... Not a good thing. That... that ugh, yeah. I think I do use a little bit of here and there. Feely boy, welcome to it. Good to see you over there on Twitch. Thanks for joining. Chat should be relaying. So YouTube and Twitch should be able to see each other's messages. I hope that's working. Initially it looked like it was working. I use the Restream Chat app so I just see everything naturally from there. of gamma. Yeah, bone streams a lot during the day while I'm at work and I can't <laughs> it's hard for me to catch his streams. <laughs>
let's see here. Silver, no. Salt, indium, copper, no. Nope. Nope. Yeah, nope. I think back to the freighter. Nice. Alright, now we can sell all the stuff in the exosuit. Clean that up a lot. Alright, sell. Uh, 91 sack venom for 5.2 million. Okay. That's a lot of sack venom. 90 pearls for 888,000. Okay. Nip nip. 320. Wow, the demand is out the roof for nip nip buds. Holy cow. Plus 167.1%. 320 for 15.19. Wow. Gravitino balls. Okay. That should clean out most of that. Yes. Alright. Was there an extra Gravitino ball somewhere? I guess not. Okay. Uh, where is an interesting place to stand while we play with inventory? How about right here? Oh, that's funny. The decal leaks onto your... onto the character model. Uh, that's funny. That is, that's really weird. <laughs> I'm, that is probably not intended. <laughs> okay, um, alrighty, so what over here? Really, what is over here? Okay, we already got, what, 20, 40, 60, alright, so we need... We have enough to make these? No. We need what? We need more aronium. Okay. Uh, that's this thing. So we need what? Maybe 13 of those? And I can only make 11 because I'm out of what? I'm out of ionized cobalt. <laughs> really? It's always one thing or another. Okay, so let's see here. Cobalt. Cobalt. There's no cobalt there. There's no cobalt there. Why are there storm crystals there? Oh, because the other one was full. Cobalt. Cobalt. Yes. Cobalt. Uh, you can go over there. And then you can come over here and go into there uh, where is that St there and then combine you with a stack of oxygen like that and there we go okay that will make more ionized cobalt. Um, okay, so back to the freighter. So now can we make... Yep. And we need more magna gold. So we need, what, eight more? Can't need that because I need ionized cobalt. Okay. Uh, I need 
ionized cobalt to make that. So we're stuck. Okay. Uh, so we have iridescites. Now we need to make lots of the other part. Which is a cryogenic chamber. Which is a cryo pump. Oh, man. Can we make... How many of those can we make? 20. Alrighty. And we need more hot ice. Alright. Hot ice is enriched carbon and nitrogen salt. Yeah, and rich carbon and nitrogen salt. All right. And nitrogen salt. Oh, we got a lot of nitrogen salt. Okay. Twenty forty sixty twenty forty sixty so let's make at least eh. Alright, so hot ice is enriched carbon and nitrogen salt. Okay, so we need uh, what seventeen more? So thirteen of those. Crafting in No Man's Sky. Stasis devices. Pain in the giant derriere. Uh, what we're gonna need? I'll make more of those. Eighty. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Are you done yet? Almost. You can begin again already. Okay, so now if we come back over here, we need eight of those. So if we do seven, eight. Okay. 
now we get to use all this glass. All right, so a cryogenic chamber is a living glass and cryopump. All right, how many living glasses do we have? Nine. Okay, so we need... Let's make a lubricant, and then we can make one of those. Okay. Now we need t ten more of those. And then we can make ten more of those. Okay, so that goes with that. So now we need to make twenty lubricants. Actually, twenty, forty, sixty. What are we missing? Probably out of gamma. Yep. Damn it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. processor a circuit board da 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 and polyfibers okay can we no, not quite make all of those Russell McFrassel. Okay, well, we managed to make twenty. can we make? Um, what do we got left? We can make acids and unstable gels, I think. Boss House Gaming, welcome to it. and unstable gels. Okay. Well, I just saw it. That's a lot of unstable gels. That's a hell of a lot of unstable gels. Okay, how many can I make? That's probably enough. <laughs> uh, OK. 
Okay. How many acids do I have? Oh, that many. Okay. Oh, there's the other. Okay, I didn't see it sneak up there. Five heat capacitors for 13 million? Okay. A little bit of a negative demand, but that's alright, I guess. There we go. 121 unstable gels for 6.2 million. Okay. 33 stasis devices for 504 million. That's pretty good. 28 liquid explosives for 18 million. That's pretty good. And I think that's it for now. Alrighty. One, what is that, billion? 92,322,538. That ought to get us a few ship slots. Okay, let's go to the space station. We still got Nip Nip over here. Holy Toledo, look at all the Nip Nip that's over here. That needs to sell. Still got buttloads of gases. That is a lot of sulfurine, or nitrogen, wow. carbon.
switch to... Yeah, that one. Okay. Can we hop in you? And... I have a feeling there's... Something I'm forgetting. Yep. There's something I'm forgetting. Is it uh, this guy? Yeah. Uh, let's take one of those, one of those, that, yeah. Lahama Beta. Space stations now. Wow. That is that's pretty darn cool. Oops. And then they got all these antennas that point out. Now you know the dominant life form in the system, they'll have Corvax, Viking, or Gek symbols here. And then down here you got your mission agent. Here you got your ship scrapping station. Your ship customization or fabricator. Construct a new starship, yes your appearance modifier. The scrap dealer sits over here under the stairs. Hello. And then the new uh, envoy and sits up here. And you can get free stuff and things at a discount. So like I can collect a free walker brain or 2,500 2, project ammunition and I can get Mordite and Blaze Javelin at a discount. If my status was better I could get maps. And then you can donate stuff as well to increase your standing with the particular guild. And then on this level you've got the um, oh that's it. You've got the Exocraft guy Still same functionality, just visually got a really good refresh. 
and then your starship guy if you want to construct a new ship then you definitely want to come here and get one of the reactors server farms and the multi-tool vendor now there's two multi-tool cases so there's one here and then there's one on this side and they're usually different and then over here you've got the multi-tool guy usual I'm hoarding S-class modules. Why? I don't know. So I've been buying all those. And then over here is your exosuit guy. And also you get a uh, discount based on your standing with each individual race. And then up here you just got little areas that are just there. I'm guessing sometime in the future they'll be used for something. I guess. And then over here in the back is where you can interact with the core still really doesn't do anything. Still don't know what feeding lost circuits does. I think there's a message if you decipher all that. But yeah, the new space stations are really nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, starship guy? Oh, actually I need, no, not the guy, I need the... Okay, um, actually let's put that one there then. Oh, okay. Apparently I had three? Okay, I'll take that. That'll make spending all this money a little easier. All right, uh, there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And there. Oh, they're always 75,000, 75 million units. Okay, they don't increase. That's good. All right. Should go ahead and get another row up here. Do I have to click there every time? Or is that all I can get? Oh, that's all I can get. Eh. It should tell you you don't have enough. Interesting. Yeah. Used all my money. Okay. Well, now that we did that... They are so photogenic. that with the planet right there at the entrance. No vignette.
pretty. Okay, so let's see here. We've got that. Okay, um, we've got pulse drive. We've got. Is that supercharged? Oh, pulse drive needs to go over there, but that one is also supercharged. Oh, man. Alright. That there. That there. else do you have? That's another one. And then the instability drive. Vastly increasing fuel. Okay, yeah, we probably want that. And a warp cell. Okay. that and where is it that and then that and then a warp cell and then Those are just upgrades. Okay, those seem to have a bonus if they're next to each other. Let's do that one. And then a magnetic resonator times three. Starship shields. Which one of these stacks are starship shields? That one. Okay. Um. Uh, what is it? E. Q. Three. Okay. And there. And there. And there. And then you go over there. Okay. Cargo scan deflector. That could probably <coughs> sit up there. Uh, now that's a supercharged slot, so we probably want a weapon there. Hmm. Photon cannon or the phase beam there? Yeah, I'm gonna need more slots. 
nuts to check this thing out. Uh, let's see. Photon cannon thingy. Well, we've got that one. Is that it for weapons? Yeah. Well, the positron ejector would be good to have. We definitely want that. Okay, so we need photon cannon modules. Do, do, do. All right, which ones are, there's pulse engine, scanner, nope, neutron, radiation, movement, underwater, photon cannon. There we go. Nope. C. Uh, I really wanted the two. Fine. wanted that one. There. Okay. And okay. And okay. And then okay. Hydrogen jelly. Okay. And then we want the indium drive. Uh, and you to be there. <coughs> yeah. I still need, we don't need those two, because we still need those two, and then possibly some other weapons. So yeah, we definitely need more, more stasis devices, which means more farming, but eh. I gonna put there? What if we put that there? I guess we could go ahead and do these guys. Put them there and there. towards everything, S-Class modules. And then we've got a bunch of nip-nip. Now do you get in trouble if you sell nip-nip at a regular station? Oh, really? Okay. I guess we can see how this ship's gonna perform. Now, what is the... how do you do the power levels again?
Boom. Vignette. Cole Tay, welcome to it. Good to see you. Always find yourself gravitating here during stressful times. Are you relaxing and peaceful streams? Good tidings. Good tidings to you as well. Thank you for joining us. Ships. Yes. Hostile ships defeated. Oh, crap. It's gonna find... Yep. Yep. It's gonna... Yep. Banned goods detected. Alright, what are you gonna do? Crap. Surrender. Surrender one nip nip buds. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's see. Don't I have the emergency warp thing? <laughs> they don't follow you during warp, do they? <laughs> I could have tried the cargo deflector. So close to getting back to my freighter. Oh, and look, a dreadnought battle. Uh, let's see, where are the engines? Richard, what are you doing? Ugh. Okay, so that's done. So now, if we go along here, get rid of their shields. have successfully defended the civilian ship. I'm just too slow. Not has surrendered. Nice. Dressed signal detected. Alright, should we board it or just destroy it? Destroy. That's a big bada boom.
Civilian sate, uh, saved from piracy. Significant bounty awarded. Nice. For once I saved the civilian fleet. Oof. And then it just kind of breaks into pieces. <laughs> Wow, look at that station. Hi, Rufus. What's up, buds? got 30 frigates in my fleet so I really don't have room for another frigate. Thinking a pirate frigate might be interesting to have in my fleet but I don't know which one of my frigates I would want to dismiss to be able to have one. Let's see, there's usually a few more of those. Just a regular freighter. Okay. What did I get? Oh, he. Ow. Oh, my emergency warp unit got broke. Oof. Microprocessors. Alright, anything else break? Nope, okay. Um, yeah, what did it award me? Because usually you get like an S class uh, freighter module. Atlas Eternal. Oh, that mission name has changed. Or maybe you have to go land on the civilian freighter to get it. Ah, I bet you that's it. Because I never have actually... This is the first time I successfully saved one. I end up the uh, civilian freighter gets destroyed but then I end up destroying the pirate freighter so I've never actually done this part let's see here hi Rufus what's up buds Offer to buy freighter or leave. Uh, what is it? A B class? No. 
Okay, well, how do you do that then? Where's my reward? What's the incentive for doing it? Maybe you're not supposed to destroy it? I don't know. Maybe that's the wrong freighter? Well, pieces of it are still drifting away. isn't here, so... Hmm. Cause here's one I got from one of the battles before. It increases the uh, trade capabilities. Hmm. Weird. I was supposed to do something at a certain time and didn't. Hmm. Well, there goes the dreadnought, still falling down to the atmosphere. Ardenham's Band. It's kind of an interesting name. Gotta go, Mikey. We'll see you. You're welcome. Glad you could uh, hang out with us. Appreciate it. Good seeing you. Or maybe this was the civilian we were supposed to save. Try this one. Hi, Rufus. Come on, come and sit with Dad. There you go. Here's the big boy. Here's the big boy. There's Rufus. Happy Rufus with his tennis ball. Let's go see what this guy has to say. What is that one? Oh, that's the captain. Offer to buy the freighter. Nope. Because you are a... Yeah, C-Class. No thanks. Um, well... get the bounty for destroying the dreadnought. Looks like I didn't get it. Ruined. Hmm. Very rude. Rough, rough Rufus. Yeah, Rufus is getting squirmy. Probably needs to go outside and pee. He's looking at me like, did you, did you, did you say outside? It's like, Dad, you're saying words that I know. If you're gonna say words that I know, you better prepare to follow up on them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know those dreadnought battles. It's like, where did my stuff go?
claim thee in the name of the Galactic Empire. Just fine, just sit with that. There you go. Hmm. Oh, I know what we can do. We need to go to the anomaly and unlock all the new base parts. That's what we can do. Pardon me, travelers. Important geck coming through. Alright, where is that new tree? And hopefully I have enough. Alright, that one. Yep. Fuel canister. Small holographic display. Yep. Lighting Array, Power Transformer, Orbit Orbital Storage, Storage Frame, Standing Sign, Holographic, Small Holographic Display B, and C, Holographic wall display A. Uh, frame lighting. Blink light. Pillar light. Bio crate. Small planter. Server block A. Uh, hydraulic arms. Oh wow, that one's 10. That was expensive. Billboard. There's the topographic table. Uh huh. Corvax. Viking. Gek. Data cabinet. And server block. Yay! We've unlocked that whole tree. That is very wide. <laughs> That needs to, if they could shrink that in a little bit. I don't think there's anything else uh, that I have not unlocked.
Alright, Helios, what do you want today? Planetary data, sure. Two hundred and fifty-five nanites. Okay, that'll work. Oh man! All right, what can we do to make money? Oh, we still have eight salvage data. Wow, I used all that salvage data. Good grief! Oh, we still have all that to sell. Um, yeah. hardly anybody in the novel. I guess we could do the weekend mission. Oh, I already did it in the save. I guess we could return to the freighter and sell that nip nip and get a little bit. It's none of the mines. Stable planet with activated copper. Irritating landing sequence. New stations are pretty darn beautiful. Uh, actually, we could go raid that and get some activated indium to sell. We could do that. Raid the mines. generate a little bit of revenue, I think. Silver base? Sure. Zoop.
7,500 silver. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. Magnetized ferrite, yep. Bring a tiny bit. Probably put in some more storage depots and get more out of that. I don't know that magnetized ferrite is worth a whole lot. Starship out of range. Uh, sure. Soup. Mm. Oxygen and paraffinium. Sure. Because in the beginning, the universe was created. This made a lot of people very angry and has widely been regarded as a bad move. Oxygen. The system was discovered by Mary Lizzie. Set all of our mines and farms. Uh, we did the gases already. Uh, silver base? Yeah. Thank you. 
16,750 silver. That's a lot. Okay. What else is over here? Oh, cobalt, indium, and copper again. Wow. Yep, okay. So many big mines I built in this save. Another random chat message. Shame. Twenty-three thousand seven hundred and fifty indium. Too bad that's not activated indium. And what else? More copper. Jari Yater system. Copper. Now that will all refill. Okay. Copper. Oh, the salt mine. Yep. Fifty salt, sure. And then finally, this guy. Yeah. Now this base was on a beautiful planet. It does storm. And then somebody came along, and you'll see what happened. Had a nice little base and kind of a little lee side of a big bridge. And I was really happy with it. And then somebody came along and built this monstrosity next to me. Um, yeah, part of it intersects my base, and it's just, like, ugly. Well, they obviously spent a hell of a lot of time building it. And obviously they didn't know my little base was there, because I don't know who did that. I'm like, great. Is 
uh, very ujili. <laughs> Let's see, maybe we can raid their paraffin as well. Oh, 7,000? <laughs> Starship out of range. I've got more paraffinium than you do. Because I can hold 14,250. Twi almost twice, more than twice as much. But yeah, it's just a giant, ugly monstrosity next to me. I don't remember making that. Maybe I do. I don't know. other bases to really raid? Not really. What else is down here? This is other people, groups, or friends? I don't know. Lots of pictures. Okay, let's go back to the freighter and sort out some of all this inventory. Black hole discovered. Okay. Um, now let's see here. Uh, uh, plants. Y'all can go into the hauler. that oxygen stack. So let's take that, fill that up. Uh, do we need to refill paraffinium? Doesn't look like it. Pyrite? Well, that stack is full. Alright, let's move that then to the exosuit so we don't get rid of that. lot of cobalt. Okay. So now I think we can sell everything in the ship, mostly. Except for the warp cells. Alright, the pyrite. The cobalt. The copper, the activated indium, not the warp piper cores, magnetized ferrite, not those two, the silver, the oxygen, the paraffinium, the indium, the salt, and the nip nip buds. Now that got us up to 71 million. And the 
then that can go back in the ship because that's good for that yeah so we do need more well at least maybe one or two more rows of slots Jeez. I didn't even get to do anything with the phase beam yet. Oof. And then the positron ejector and then the rocket launchers would be good to have. So yeah, definitely some more two, maybe two or three more rows of tech slots. But this looks good now. That's a good square. And then somewhere up here are two more supercharge slots. But the pulse engine stuff just takes up so much room. I don't know if a, sh a different ship trail would look better. on this guy. that one. That one I think I want to get rid of too. being awfully quiet out there. Nobody's chatting. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to push my random chat message button for the hell of it. Thank you for joining me tonight. If you haven't noticed, I am Richard and we are playing No Man's Sky. This is the orbital update that came out this week. Did a refresh to the space stations, as you may have seen. Mary Lizzie is there. Hey there. Meow meow. Wow, look at that uh, geography. Wow, that is a big asshole in the ground. Holy shnikey. How do you even. Wow. Interesting planet. Huh. 
Huh. Interesting. Kind of that teal blue colored water. Kind of reminds me of uh, Scope. <laughs> or Listerine. Submerged relic. Okay. Not very deep. Definitely a hole in the ground. This would be an interesting place for a base. There's a sea power. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of Scope or Listerine. Plant hiding there. Uh, oh, let's see. I thought I saw like a crack in the canyon. Yeah, I was mistaken. Sort of looks like there's one over there. Yeah, just go away.
Oh, cool. Ouch. So bright. Wow. Darn pretty. So there, oh, a damage machine. Sell and tell. Gunboat Willie, dropping in to smack the like button before hitting the hay. Ha hope you have an awesome rest of stream. I sure will. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for hitting that like button. Muchly appreciated. Have a great night. Get some good sleep and have a fabu tomorrow. Let's sell and tell. Except we do not want residual goop. We'll just throw that away. Hey, this buried technology module is not buried. Three of them. Nice. Did I go? There I am. Can 
even see the little geck down under there? Not really. <laughs> Maybe this way would be an inter more interesting shot. Laylapse wasn't in there. Well, at least vignette stayed off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Really don't mind laylapse being there either. Yeah, that's a cool shot. I'm really digging this Starborn runner ship. First, I didn't think I would like it, but I was like, yeah, it's pretty darn cool. Is that just a waypoint? Uh, what are you? You are a oh, uh, beacon, whatever they're called. Another big hole in ground. This planet is pretty darn wild. want to claim that in the name of the Galactic Empire. And that one. Hi Rufus. What's up buds? Bavan T platform. What is it? Uh, it's the Starborn Runner. It's from the Omega uh, expedition. It's one of the things you get if you complete that expedition, and it looks like that. It's a pretty dope looking little ship. And I don't think you can find it crashed or customize it. But I'm kind of digging it. At first I didn't like it, but I hopped in it today doing the weekend mission with Bixler, and I was like, I kind of dig this ship. So I've been kind of wanting to grind up money and stuff to add a bunch of slots to it and get the tech all built out in it. Because I use my yellow Victory of the Void as my, pretty much my workhorse. I always use that ship. I'm like, you know, I need to do something with this other ship. Seek, locate, destroy. Bunch of green dots. What are we missing? Well, there's the, um... At the anomaly, there's the expedition station. You might be able to. I don't know if they're just always active. So I don't know if you can just go do an expedition now whenever you want. I don't know. We could go check and verify that, actually. Here's 
station over here. Oh, maybe it's not active now. Oh, expedition terminus. No, okay. Yeah, you can only do when when it's active. Okay. I thought you could just randomly do one, but I guess not. Oof. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, look at that little guy. He's little and fuzzy. old monstrous AC box hauler. Wow. That thing is huge. Wow. Look, a Rasamama. And another one. And another one. Choose from any... I don't know. Maybe. I mean, from the what it said, it looks like it's only the current expedition. But maybe when they rerun it, you can choose from the from whatever they're rerunning. Maybe I. I'll have to see. Oh, I know what I want. I gotta trade ships though. Yeah, that's what we could do. I wanted to figure that out. Let's trade ships. Because the other part of this update... Hi, Rufus. I know, buddy. You probably need to go potty, don't you? Daddy will take a break from the stream in just a few minutes, okay? You're being a very good boy. Witty. There's a ship going right through my freighter. That was entertaining. Alright. Uh, yes. No, that's the other one. know why I bought this one. Yeah, that one. So also with the orbital update, there's these things called trade surges. So if you go into the, um, go into, is it the trade outpost? No. If you go into the map, how did I do it? Oh yeah, search for trade surges. Okay, trade surge. Okay, so now if you go into the map, I haven't quite figured it out. So if you go there, 
I didn't quite figure out what to do. So let's go there and then see what to do. Hi, buddy. I know you really need to go potty. I know. Come and sit with Dad for just a minute. He's like, Dad, you said a minute. And that was like four days ago. a high-tech economy to purchase the required goods. In the galaxy map, select any system. Da, da, da. Okay. Economic boom. Locate a high-tech economy to purchase the required goods. But what goods? And the nearby Yidanus 5 system. If I can locate the materials currently in demand, there should be substantial profits. Alright, but what is it looking for? What high-tech? What goods? I missed it. Yeah, the damn delay is so bad. By the time <laughs> you say something, I'm 20 seconds ahead of you. Okay, so a high-tech economy. Go down. supply destitute affluent that's not high tech though showed a freighter link oh cuz that's I think that's where one of my I have a, a mission I have a freighter uh, a frigate mission out See, that economy is mining. As it says, find a high-tech economy. Black market. Medium supply. Destitute. Booming. Power generation. Oh, high tech. There. Yes. Okay. Alright. So we've located a high-tech one. So now maybe it'll tell us what to purchase, Rufus. What do you think? Rufus says, I don't know, Dad. All I know is my bladder is full and I need to pee. Okay, let's 
go see. Now is it going to tell us what to purchase? Okay, the high-tech economy to purchase the required goods. All right, so we found a high-tech economy. Visit the space station to purchase in-demand goods. Oh, okay. All right, in-demand goods. Land at the station to take more. <laughs> yeah, I can probably. Alright, let me take Rufus out for uh, a couple minutes and we will be right back. demand goods okay in demand goods I guess it tells us that right mobile trade goods so I guess you buy these things means these things. Alright, well let's get 50 of those, 52 of those, 73 of those, and 79 of those. Okay, while in space, okay, sell goods, 
generated by a high-tech economy for increased profit. Did it return to Eudonis V system? Okay. All right. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, on this one it's like two hours and something. Sixty-six thousand. Yeah, look at that. Profits from this trading surge. So I guess you can just keep doing that and make lots of money. Let's make lots of money. Bom, 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 bom. Hundred and sixty five per cent. Wow. Okay. Welding soap. Okay. Ion capacitors. Yep. Autonomous positioning units. Yep. Okay. And that's it, right? Yeah, the dad joke thing is broken. I think that API is uh, messed up. I need to find a different one. It hadn't worked in about a week. All right, and we made six million from that. So I guess we can keep doing that. Yeah, I know, I need to find if there's another one dad joke API because that one had some really good dad jokes in it. There's a high tech one. Yeah, there's a high tech one.
be a dog fax? Eh, maybe. Wow. I don't know if I... That is a cool shot. These new space stations. I am really digging this update. This one is really cool. These new space stations are just absolutely stunning. are going to work. Interesting. Nice. Oh, and now that one's not going to work. Why is that one not going to work? still some lingering issue with these with my buttons sometimes the shout out messages work and sometimes they don't I don't know why okay um one. sky there. Oh, wow. Should get the... Not the sun... be popping out to the side.
sure. Let's get those. And those. And those. Okay. A shuttle. Five system. So oh, it's a hauler. Where is ye donus? Uh, would that be? Oh, yep. No telling where it is now. Um. I guess I've been to it. I should be able to teleport. There's another high-tech system. Oh, there it is. Is it over that way? Okay. 912,000. Okay. 2.1 million. Okay. were. Was it that one? Yeah. That might be easier. Just teleport back and forth. <laughs> I wonder if it replenishes the stock. Yeah, 
right across the aisle from it. Uh, yeah, see, they're not replenished. There's only one. Tricky. Yeah, it takes a while for them to replenish. Yep, okay. So it's not a just teleport back and forth a whole bunch of time within two hours. <laughs> high-tech systems. Alrighty, um... Oh, there's one right there. Space Station? Shit. Sorry, Space Station. dark, just sitting on the floor barking. the last run that I made. Oh, was that high tech? Yep, there's one right there. Uh-oh. 
Another dreadnought battle. Maybe this time we can get the stuff. down. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Another one on this side, yes. to negotiate. Okay, where do you do that? Salvaged hyperdrive upgrade. Oh, okay. You're going to wave at me for defeating you? Right. Demand tribute. The outlaw resignedly empties their coffers. Wow, okay. Six 
6.7 million. I have stripped the pirate commander of all their wealth. They look utterly defeated and humiliated. I should leave them to lick their wounds. Okay, bye. <laughs> destroy it anyway. Scrap collected. Okay. Yeah, see that time I got a hyperdrive upgrade. Nice. Okay, just for safekeeping, I'm going to go ahead and put that over there. What are those guys doing in my freighter? Oh, that's my exosuit. Okay, I'm going to put that over there. Okay, there we go. faster to defeat that dreadlock. Ninety-seven thousand. Okay. All right. So if we sell, oh, the demand is lower now. Interesting. That demand is good. See, the profits aren't increasing ever again. It's like you can only do it once. That's interesting. I think 
have sworn, because we've done that, what, two or three times now? Should be way more than six million. Maybe it only calculates that the first time. Hmm. All right, well, we've done a trading surge. Done a dreadnought battle. We made a bunch of stasis devices. Sold all that. We upgraded the Starborn Runner with what we could. Oh, no, not that. I'm going to go back to the freighter. Specific amount you're supposed to make? No, I don't think so. I think it's just an opportunity to make money. I mean, I went to like three, four different systems, but it seemed to max out at $6.2 million on the profits. So I don't know if really only that first trade counts or what. Because after the last two, the profit indicator didn't change. It stayed that. Tech too. Or can I just get it from my trade terminal? Uh, which is over here. So if I buy a hundred and forty six of those, ninety one of those. 172 of those, 125 of those, and 176 of those. Alrighty, so now if we go back to Yidanas. Oh, I think I put a, a cap on the gamble. changes now so if we sell yeah see it's like eh, it's like demand has gone down now see that one's demand is still up so maybe that one will make it change See, it's still 6,297,417. So it's like after the first sell, it's like it doesn't 
this doesn't change. It's definitely increasing. There seems to be like four or five of them. Let's see if we can find a, a different high tech system. Maybe I've bought and sold too many of the in demand things. high-tech system. I don't think we've been to that one. system. Hello fellow Gex. Alright, see I mean it looks like that's in demand because the price is lower. So let's buy that. The welding so I think the welding these two though are not no longer in demand. I don't I think these two may be no longer in demand. We'll have to see. See, the decommissioned circuits are now no longer in demand, and neither is the welding soap. And neither are the ion capacitors. But see, still, even if I'm selling it at a loss, theoretically, think this number would go up but maybe it only counts when there's demand for it in the system where the boom is hmm. yeah this one is very pink all right well we made 6.2 million off this trading surge it's an interesting feature uh, let's see here. Uh, I wonder if there's anything to do at the settlement, I wonder. All these other bases out there. Well, 
here, I don't know. Because these are trade goods. So I guess we'd have to have a find a mining system and maybe sell these. Let's I mean that wouldn't count as a trading surge. So let's see if we can find a mining system. Mining. There's a two star mining. Literally right there. Advanced. Scientific. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Yeah, that one. That's a two star. Oh, is that a three? Nope, that's another two star. What's that one? Buy it minus 15. Buy it minus 29. Sell. Yeah, it would be selling. So 60%, 73%. That one would be better, right? That means it would have a better profit margin? Been going to three star? No, I've just been going to where the economy type. You just go to a high tech economy. I haven't been looking at the level. And it doesn't say anything about the level. Unless, you know, that's a secret thing that you have to think about. I don't know. demands energy demands energy yep demands energy yep demands energy yep but see that's not that's not doing that I don't know if the economy level the star rating matters or not. Christmas system, <laughs> right? But all those systems. Uh, a 
Ablet Gamma. That looks like a cold system. A freezing planet with aggressive sentinels. A Livenham. Livenham. Blustein 10. Some interesting names. Mobus 8. A bubbling planet with aggressive sentinels. What is that? 16? And this little guy. A mutated planet. What is a mutated planet? Pado 16. Oh, no, that's 14. What is a mutated? Oh, it's, oh, it's radioactive. Okay. planet with aggressive sentinels. That's interesting. We think Alright, let's see. High tech. Let's see if we can find a three star high tech. Power generation. Opulent. Mining, mining, high tech. There's a three star high tech. All right, let's try buying stuff there. Hi, Rufus. What is it, buddy? Hi. You're needing attentions. I need the attention, Daddy. That's a good dog. Gatios Tager system. Well, that's an interesting looking space station. That's a very interesting looking space station. Wow. I think he's probably wanting me to go and, and sit with him and not do this anymore. Because to him, this is this is like torture. <laughs> tech goods they have. You know the welding soap, at least, is no longer in demand, really. Wow, this one is bright. Yeah, I think these... I think this is the only one that's probably worth anymore. We'll just see. Five million four hundred thirty-four thousand four hundred ten of in-demand goods available to sell. In-demand goods. Products received. Products received. Products received. Quantum accelerator. Products received. Bedtime snuggle. Yeah. Yeah, it, this is about the time that I'm normally going to bed during the work week. We'll go out for a, our final pee, and then we'll go get in bed and play ball a little bit, and I'll watch YouTube videos and then go to bed. 
So that's probably what he's expecting now is, Dad, it's time to go to bed. there. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so we're back. Yeah, we're back in Yidanas. Okay. Cell. See, these aren't... These aren't in demand anymore. That's not in demand. I think it's the the teleport thing. I think if you, st yeah, you're kind of like in it. This is what happens if you uh, drink too much frostwort wine. Yes, I bought from a three star. Let's sell those, sell those, sell those, sell those, and sell those. See, it still says two hours, 59 minutes, 57 seconds. It's like this timer doesn't go down and that doesn't change. Cell price is spiking in nearby system. Hmm. I can't tell if this is changing or not. I think it is. back I could be I don't know why that would affect it I guess we could try that I don't know why that would affect it maybe it does let's fall upwards Go uh, this way. Jello at the wall, huh? Fair. Mining. Power generation. Manufacturing. Oh, there's a high tech. All right, Bojate 18. There's Shard Vixen. Okay. 
local high-tech purchase in-demand goods. See, what does that really mean? I mean, how do you know that they're in-demand? Those would be in-demand goods, right? Or is it meaning these things? Kindle Southwick! Wow! Welcome to it, my friend. Good to see you over there on Twitch. All hail Lord Rufus, yes. And who is Rufus? Well, that's a Rufus. thinking it means these things, but when I go back, these are always very much not in demand. Product received. Product received. Product received. says a profit of 1.3 million of in-demand goods available to sell. Profits from this trading surge, 6,297,417 units. It said that, and it's always been 2 hours 59 minutes. It's like that timer is never going down. So let's fly back to Yidanus and see if we can get 6.2 million to advance to, what, 7.5 million. What am I doing here? Uh, over here. Yeah, see, the little symbol's not on it anymore. I wonder if the trade surge is done. says 278,005 units of in-demand goods available to sell. Okay, what is that? These aren't in demand anymore. And see, the timer is still two hours, fifty nine minutes. See, it, it never, it's never going to finish that timer. And see, that hasn't changed. 
See, it's always two hours, 59 minutes. Weird. I don't know if that is working like I think it should be. Anyway, I'm tired of messing with that. I think I've crashed the economy anyway. Um, what else do we want to do? Where else can we visit? Looks like the base on that paraffinium planet of mine. Hmm. Yeah, let's go check in at the settlement. There might be something to do. Yeah, but I don't know if the the same items or type of items will be required each time. Fund welfare measures or fund vital maintenance. Removes mystery meat pie and gets shared power plant. Or removes hypno drones and adds celebrated holidays. Hmm. Welfare or maintenance? Um. Maintenance. Welfare. I think welfare, because the maintenance cost isn't that bad or making a million units a day our happiness does need to go up but see 49 do 53 more want maintenance interesting Okay. Decrease maintenance cost. Yeah, it did a little bit.
Also, I discovered if you have a decal and you put it on your floor, it appears on your feet. like it's projecting it from somewhere even though it's just on the floor whoa that has a bad camera angle yeah very weird It's the hologram emitter. And then that, and then there's, yeah, that's the uh, little sand table thing. I forget what that is. That's the... Emergency heater. Oh, illuminated pot. Yeah, that's the illuminated pot. I think it's just a light. Black hole.
Yeah, without the big thing of the freighter there, that would be interesting. Ooh, I wonder how... Ooh, let's go up there. There might be a better view up there. I made this one really tall. <laughs> I guess a little bit better view. Let's see. Bit. Welcome to it. I am loving the new update. It is really, 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 really nice. I am digging it a lot. The new space stations are just stunning. Hiding in my nutrient processor, anyway. <laughs> Creature biscuits. Okay. And 50 slots there for whatever. that other friggin' mission ever... Nope, they're still out. Interesting. Seven hours, 25 minutes. Sony's face in it. <laughs> that could be. That could be. But yeah, these the space stations are well worth the wait. I, they are absolutely stunning. I really, really like them. Uh, what was 
was I going to do? I just thought of something and now I completely lost my train of thought. Um, uh, what was I going to do? I came this way for a reason. Why? Um, I don't remember now. Why did I come out here? I was going to do something. Uh, I totally forgot now. Well, that's finally decreased a little bit. Um, what's I going to do? Yeah, frigate mission. I was gonna send off some more frigate missions. That's why I came back this way. But we probably need more frigate fuel. That's the 50 tons. about all the little things so much you got a PSVR 2 nice I bet it's amazing in VR I bet yeah wow yeah I bet that is stunning in VR yo navigator 9 p.m. home from work, put on VR. Seems like 15 minutes later, take off, and it's freaking 5 to 6 a.m. Oh! Wow. I'll bet. Oof. Alright, Discovery... Voyages in the Space Beyond. That sounds like a cool one. Alright, Discovery. Okay, um... Well, I guess those are exploration guys. Well, that should be enough. Uh, that should be plenty. Uh, doesn't translate. Yeah, it's hard to do VR on stream, you're right. See if we can do a balanced one. All right, let's do. Who's heavy on combat? You. Industrial. Thirty-seven. Okay, that would be you. Trade. 34, 27, 47, okay. And then we need something on exploration. Who's got good number? Nobody, really. Sixteen? Oh, there was an eighteen. Well, that's pretty good. And then shorten it a little bit. Yeah, that should be fine. And then a combat one? I don't know if I've got any combat ones left. Oh, I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, 32. 
27, 34, 35. Oh, that's easily going to kill it. And then 40. Yep. All right. Uh, explosive drones and fuel oxidizer. Whoosh. And then another discovery. I don't know if I've got enough for that. Yeah, none of those are really good on my exploration. Gotten a pirate frigate? No, because I have 30 frigates and they're all S-Class. I haven't even, in this safe, I haven't even redeemed the Normandy or the organic frigate yet. But what is your tip on the pirate frigates? Because I would really need to dismiss three of mine to get a pirate, the Leviathan, and the organic frigate. But please, let us know your tip. Because I've been thinking about it. Because I've had two dreadnought battles so far this stream. I'm like, eh, waffling on it. Oh, freighter. Pirate freighter. Ah. Squadron. I need, I need some more squadron guys. Always fires left. Alias. Real name unknown. Yeah, I need more squadrons. Have a bulkhead, really? Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, there's nothing really new on any of these. Set fader base, nope. And then we got the navigator. Take out the engines first. Yes, that's what I've been doing. And then I've been going after the shields. Take out the engines first, and then immediately take out the lasers. They immediately surrender. No need to deal with the shields or torpedoes at all. Oh! And then take out the lasers. Interesting. Okay. I'll have to try that. Okay. Good to know. Thanks, sir. Um. spend hmm. have to get a lot of duplicates to get them all ah okay 
Yeah, I think in this one I've got... Oh, I had this one that I got earlier. I need to improve its hyperdrive. So, 32, 76.9. Uh, and I guess that needs to go here? Oh, 30, yeah, that did improve it, wow. Now I wonder if that needs to actually touch it. Would that be better if it touches? Oh, it does. 3709. What was it before? Thirty-two seventy-six. Now it's thirty-seven. Okay. I wonder if I'm. Oh, come on! Don't do that. Man. Nope. That's not any better. That's actually worse. Come on, inventory. 3709, that seems to be about the best. Interesting. trade long-range sensor and then the matter beam thing interesting oh and I hid my chat for myself <laughs> group the higher class directly to the drive usually helps but not always yeah yeah that one seems to be about the best range 37 that A touching it. Oh, see, that one's only 50, and that's blue. So, yeah, the A, B, and S. Yeah. Okay, yep. servos one two three four five and there another one Okay, well, what should we do? Uh, we've discovered that. What's that guy? A hexagonal planet. Hmm. High energy moon. Leilahama Beta. Oh, really? Okay. If you say so.
gravitational interference. Yeah, I'll bet. Oh, so you're a holler. Go boom. Then yet go the L way. Fifty one hundred light years? Wow, that's some good range. And I kinda dig that screenshot. Damn tootin' they're defeated, lady. Exploring over on Watt Major. Trade guy, okay. What do you got? Anything good? Ship is great pleasure for Corvax. Only one something to sales geck remains. Purchase goods entity? I don't know. Do you have anything really cool? Uh, none of that I really, really want. Is there anything I really, really don't want? I could get rid of Mordite and Gamma and Fungal and Cactus and Starbowl and Solanium and Frost Crystal and Fecium. Nope, I left my 8 oxygen. Oh well. Alright, resuming our travels to what? Or what? Or what? Let's go over... The... No, I don't want to go... Fine, we'll go to the anomaly. Apparently we're going to the anomaly.
what's wrong, buddy? You okay? You're okay? Alright. Corvac's word for demand. I demand a taller geck. I demand getting rid of gaseous baggiuses. Clappiest trappiuses. I demand that I learn another word. Fall. Okay, I think I can fall. There's probably a place over here, like right here, that I can fall. Yep, how's that? right there in my face. Like, really? Do you have to shine your light right in my face? spare dreadnought upgrades oh so I think I have I don't know if I have any in this save because so I think in my other save I've got our carrier AI fragments whatever those are I have way too many stuffs. I don't know why I'm keeping all the fleshy rope and the vortex cubes. I have no idea. word for sight. Oh, all right. Green dots. Green dots. No red dots. No red dots. class mineral okay hmm. all right 
I'm intrigued as class what? Probably right where I was up at the top. Unidentified. Oh, I have not scanned you? Oh, and there's an A power hotspot. Interesting. Okay. Okay. It's going to be right over here on the side, isn't it? Paraffinium. Oh, I do not need another a bunch of paraffinium. Wow. Hi. Have a cookie. Harvest grease. You. Huh. That's kind of a funny picture. Trying to catch it. Roll. There we go. Cave crab. Vortex cubes. Refill? Nice. Ow, oh, I crashed freighter. Ouch. Wow. That thing is just sticking out of the ground.
if that made an earth shattering kaboom when it crashed. Mr. Gek, go up the stairs. <laughs> MV Graceful Haku Dam. It wasn't very graceful, it crashed. Request log unavailable. Substituting data. Okay, read log. We have been ordered to shoot down any Viking vessels on Kz. They have been deemed the enemies of the Atlas, enemies of the Council, enemies of all. We have been ordered to aid a Viking splinter faction and hope they might create internal unrest and divide their purpose. We are to rendezvous with two promising revolutionaries, battle brothers by the name of Herc and Nal. Aha, Herc and Nal. Someone is reading these messages. Who are you? I am a very important Gek, that's who. When all the campaigners dumped it and you paid 20? Ugh, yeah. I pre-ordered it. I thought it was going to be cool. And even though it was a rough launch, I stuck with it. and I have never regretted the purchase. Never. Super guilty? Oh. What are you going to give me? Silt? Superconducting fibers. Oof. And I'm going to get irradiated. Thank you so much.
pipers. Okay. Let's see. Four of six. Okay, so there's two more. No goop, no slime. Give me the things. Oh, jeez. in here, is it there? Ah, there it is. Okay, maybe not.
Okay. Delete. Oh, or Piper Core, nice. Claim that in the name of the Galactic Empire. Oh, leave that bonus. to 11 o'clock here so I think I'm gonna head up to my freighter and uh, wrap this thing up because I need to I'm tired of being on the computer go to sleep soon. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of wearing my headset. <laughs> my headphones. Alrighty, folks. Well, thank you uh, very much for hanging out with me. Muchly appreciated. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you're over on YouTube. If also you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're over on Twitch, hit that follow button. I really would appreciate it. And um, we'll catch you on another stream, probably, maybe, very soon. Bye-bye, and have a good night, and get some good sleep, and have a fabulous tomorrow. <laughs>